September 24, 2007. You see before you a clock set five minutes to midnight. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, a think tank, has determined that we are at this level in 2007. In light of current events, I thought we might need to re-examine. Mohammed Abinadad who arrived in New York City late Sunday evening. He is the sixth and current president of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Iran is defined as the land of the Aryans. Before March 21, 1935, the land was called Persia. The Persia government of that time wanted to honor their ancient roots. The decision was influenced by the Nazi revival of interest in the so-called Aryan races, cradled in ancient Persia. Much has happened internationally since World War II. Yet most people are not aware of the facts behind Mr. Abinadad's beliefs and thus his agenda. Mr. Abinadad has stated his objective very clearly. In fact, before he left Iran, the military printed their wares for all to see. On 8-21-2005, he presented his 21-man cabinet to Parliament and offered a raw mix of ultra-Islamic domestic policy, state-dominated economic agenda, and uncompromising foreign policy. He is very critical of any government that criticizes Iran's nuclear ambitions. He states that the Holocaust was a myth. In fact, he wants to remove Israel from the Middle East, possibly to Europe. The absolute goal is to create a world without the Western infidel, or great Satan, United States and British entities, and the little Satan, Israel. Like the U.S. military, they name their war plans. He is in the process of creating a 40,000-man strategic unit throughout the world. He calls his mission Judgment Day. These men are your doctors, work at dams, at nuclear plants, concession workers at baseball games, etc. Once a plan is put forward, you can only imagine. Why do this at this time? He is speaking at the UN on Tuesday, 9:25:07. He spoke at last year's assembly too, outlining his plan. Today he speaks at Columbia University. Outrage has come from all corners. Hillary Clinton, Henry Kissinger, and John McCain have all expressed their disapproval. Protests are planned. Wednesday, 9:26:07, Mr. Abinadad will be interviewed on CNN by Christine Amapour. On it goes. Watch closely. This is a pivotal moment in history. Would we have allowed Hitler such a platform in the 1930s? Truly amazing. The most important fact is that God is in control. Whether you call him Allah, Yahweh, Jehovah, or just plain God, now is the time. We must pray and seek his face. This time is well documented by the ancient prophet's writings. Daniel, Ezekiel, the writings of Paul and Peter, John's book of Revelations, Jesus himself in Matthew 24, or Mark 13, etc. To see the nations and plot, go to Ezekiel 38 and 39. I'm a bond servant of Christ. My name is Stephen H. Wilder. Please re understand this is all meant for good. Come to the Lord. He will help you and bless you. Amen.